I was trying to sell my kidneys on the black market when I got an ad for Shein Eats, and apparently they sell food now. So I ordered some Mexican food because I was really hungry. But when it arrived, it came in what looked like a reused tissue box, and it had a fragile sticker, but it was looking more like a burrito bowl at this point. Anyways, I compared it to the picture in the ad, and it looked nothing like it. But the worst part is there was corn in it, and I'm allergic. And I was beyond mad, so I looked at the shipping label, and it said it was shipped all the way from China. So you know what I did? I was on that next flight to China, and after I boarded the plane next to the world's biggest Facebook mom with this suitcase, the food was actually pretty good, a little bit better than Shein's. But anyways, when I landed, I remembered it was the Olympics here in Beijing, so I decided to go to that instead of getting revenge on Shein. Happy Valentine's Day. Aww. Today, I made a New Year's resolution to stop filling up my gas car with diesel just because it's cheaper. Because last time I did that, it started smoking when I was driving back from the gas station and then eventually burst into flames. So I've actually failed my first New Year's resolution because now I have no car to fill up with gas and it's 40 grand to repair the garage from fire damage. But I can't go to the bank because I don't have a car. So I walked in minus 40 degree weather to the car store and bought an electric car with all the money I made selling human organs off the black market. And it's really cute and it looks like a ladybug and I drove it home and found out I can plug it in with the same charger as my phone. So I grabbed my dog and we went on a little mini road trip for about 47 minutes when my car died because apparently you can't charge a car with a phone charger. So now I'm stranded in the middle of nowhere, genuinely considering eating my Cheez-Its that I brought as a snack while I wait for the tow truck to come, obviously. Today I went to the movie theater an hour early because I'm half Caucasian and I wanted to see the new Spider-Man for the 30th time. But when I sat down, I noticed that they had QR codes for their overpriced food menus. So I got the intrusive thought to quickly run home and change all the QR codes to moaning sounds. So when I got home, I designed a bunch of fake stickers and printed them off with QR codes. So when you scan them, they play this. Anyways, I grabbed the stickers and drove back to the theater and stuck them over the top of the original ones. And as people trickled into the theater and the movie started, and they started scanning the codes for the menu, I suddenly began to hear... And then people would quickly hide their phones and try and turn it off. And it got to the point where they had to stop the movie. So anyways, I left and went for sushi. And when I got there and sat at the table, I noticed that this restaurant also has QR codes for their menu. And I had some stickers left over, so I carefully placed them on top of the old QR codes. And then I looked back at the dude behind me as he scanned his and... Anyways, my sushi was very delicious. 9 out of 10. Today I was in my car when I saw that the Amish were doing a pop-up shop, so obviously I had to go check it out because I don't believe that they're real. And when I pulled up to Simply Amish, I put my mask on because I don't want to give the entire colony the plague or something. And when I walked in, the employee was on a computer, and I was like, that's strange, they're not even supposed to have electricity. But I was walking around, and at first it seemed like a really expensive furniture store, and I was like, damn, these Amish are gonna be balling. But then I came across this door that was half open, which led to this scary basement that had all of these artifacts, and and paintings of Jesus, and then randomly a Rick and Morty Chia pet, and some cards that I don't think are Amish appropriate, and then a Queen's Gambit board game, which, oh, wouldn't that just be chess? Anyways, I felt the need to buy something so the Amish don't steal my organs. I got one of those popping toys where you put it on the ground and... Anyways, when I paid and got the bag, I noticed they slipped a key in it with a note saying, Need escape? And then some coordinates, which I looked up online and found out they lead to their colony. So I think they tried recruiting me and let me know if I should drive up there and join them. I was putting my clothes in the dishwasher today because I broke my washing machine when I tried washing dishes in it last week because my dishwasher was broken in the first place. But anyways, I was in the kitchen and heard a snowball hit my window and when I looked out the window, my elderly neighbor Myrtle had put up a sign that said, check your mail. Now, as threatening as that seemed, I was so excited because her son owns the website where you watch corn with a pea. And in the past, she's given me like a thousand dollars at Christmas and a cute little picture of herself. So I went to the door and grabbed the card and when I opened it, I noticed that this time there was no gift, which is fine and all, but also the picture she had sent me had some man man's hand in the corner and on the card there was weird capitalization so i highlighted the capital letters and it spelled help me and i started freaking out so i drove over to her house which was 50 feet away sorry greta thunberg and i was gonna save her from being choked but um when i got there there was a van outside that said uh 50 shades of play and i think that's what what myrtle's into so now i'm traumatized
Today, I threw away all my electronics so I could join the Amish and live a simple life. But after about 10 minutes, I got really bored of harvesting wheat and apples and wanted to watch a good old YouTube video. But I didn't have any devices to watch YouTube on, so I obviously walked over to the YouTube headquarters. And when I got there, I managed to walk right in and I found an empty room with a TV in it so I could watch a few videos from my personal collection. Anyways, after I had cured my boredom, I left the room and raided the YouTube fruit counter and grabbed an orange and an apple and a DVD copy of the videos I watched. But when I finally got home, I realized I can't play this because I don't have a record player. <laughs> but I looked around my room and saw an old radio speaker thing and popped the CD in it just so I could listen to the audio and imagine the video in my mind. But when it started playing, it sounded like it was coming from outside my house and that's when I realized I had it set to broadcast. And I ran outside to see every radio in the vicinity was playing. <laughs> I was cleaning my room today when I found out that I just hit 10 million followers. And to celebrate, I wanted to give each and every one of you one dollar. Now, I don't have 10 million dollars, but you know who does? The bank. So I went over there and had the idea to R to the O to the B it, but quickly realized that I get too anxious simply going to Starbucks and ordering for myself without nearly peeing my pants. So walking into a bank to commit a crime is kind of out of the question. So my second idea was to make an Ed Sheeran disguise that is so convincing it looks like a deep fake. So I taped it to my face and I used this simple hat that works on any ATM machines where you can type in the number of the address where the ATM is, like 900 for example, and then it'll think it's undergoing maintenance and spread out all its cash. So I tried it and boom, I suddenly had $20,000. And I stopped at each and every ATM, punching the code, getting racks when I remembered they have security cameras. And even though I was disguised as Ed Sheeran, I wanted to be safe. So I gently disconnected the camera from the ATM and put it on the ground. And for the rest of the night, I'd never felt more alive, single-handedly taking down the greedy banks to steal from customers every single day. Day. I was calculated, unstoppable, careful. And I did it all right under the police's noses. It became addicting. Every single ATM was like a new hit. And the money, oh, it was endless. Ed Sheeran had to go on live TV to say he wasn't the thief. And I had gotten away with it. Oh, wait, just kidding. They actually got me. Well, at least I still have money for bail. And I still have 10 million of you guys. Uh, wait, um... I wanted to go to Chili's today, but it was burning down. So instead, I went to go get sushi. But it was one of those places where it comes on a conveyor belt and you can take what you want, except for this piece of shrimp that refused to cooperate and wouldn't relate. But it's okay, because they also have a screen you can order from. So I ordered myself some crispy rice and it zoomed by faster than I could say, no officer, I had nothing to do with the Chili's burning down. Anyways, then I saw these nasty cubes that look like Minecraft gravel and I lost my appetite. So I put all the plates down the chute since I was done with them when I wondered what's actually in there. And it said, please don't insert hands or objects. But what did I do? Hit record on my my phone and insert it into the slot, which was really smart because then I dropped it down into the chute and had to call over a waiter in shame and he told me that non-play items go out the garbage chute around back. So I went down this creepy corridor and finally found it and when I grabbed my phone and sat down to check what footage I had recorded, I saw... I don't know if you've seen those comments on TikTok of beautiful women asking if there are any boys here, but today I remembered I am a boy. So I decided to investigate and saw that she was asking me to go to her bio. So I clicked the link in her bio and it instantly froze my iPad and I couldn't close the app or anything until a thing popped up asking for my phone number and credit card number to fix it. And so obviously I was like, thank God, the solution. So I grabbed my credit card from my wallet and typed it in. But then after I did that, my iPad fully shut off and started smoking. But I was like, okay, thank God they reminded me what my credit card number is. So I went to the Apple store to go replace all my Apple products that are now fried, but I got distracted and tried to make the wallpapers minions kissing, and I played some random rats dancing on all the iPhones. But then an employee yelled at me, so I fled with no iPhone, and now I'm trying to catch a bird so I can use it as a carrier pigeon to talk to people since I have no electronic devices left. Today, I door dashed some cooked goldfish from PetSmart because I was really hungry and they were only $3. So I placed the order and walked over to PetSmart to pick it up. But when I got there, I walked in and found the food pickup section and saw all the soon-to-be sushi swimming around in their little tanks that were right next to the not-so-swimming sushi. And that's when I realized maybe pet store food isn't the best move. But I was still super hungry, so I asked an employee if they have anything else to eat, but she told me if I want to act picky, they have rats for sale. So I opened up the rat fridge and... 
I couldn't do it. So I ended up buying some bugs for like $2, which was such a great and amazing deal. And when I got home, I was so hungry that I ripped open the bag of bugs and just told myself that this little grasshopper in my chopsticks is a Cheeto. So I popped it in my mouth and I felt movement. And I spat it out and it jumped out of the bowl. And I panicked and ran to the toilet. For the next three hours, I vomited up my insides. Hey, you could win lifetime passes to Coachella, and theoretically, if my calculations are correct and you're not a senior citizen, my calculations tell me you could go to a lot of Coachella. All you gotta do is create a short using the hashtag YouTube Coachella sweepstakes and tell us who your dream plus one would be if you could have lifetime passes. Today I went to go see Billie Eilish at Coachella, but before she came on, there was this dude wearing a big sparkly onesie who opened for her that kept staring at me, and I was thinking to myself, what's up, do you have a staring problem, buddy? But anyways, he did a little dancey dance thing, and Shrek was in the audience and seemed to love it. But his cameraman kept getting in the way and then turned to me, and the next thing I knew, rewind that. He put me on the big screen, and I freaked out and went behind the cameraman and started unplugging random cables from his camera, and it turned off the video on the screen. But anyways, then Billie Eilish came on and kept invading my personal space and staring at me, and I was like, do celebrities never get taught that staring is rude? Why are you yelling at me? But then she did her little dancey dance and left the stage, and I took a golf cart home from Coachella, and when I woke up the next morning, I checked my phone to see a DM from Billie herself asking if I was at her show with a winky face, and I replied, no, silly Billy, here's a restraining order, leave me alone. And I went back to bed. Every day I bike past this fenced off neighborhood near me that's radioactive from a nuclear meltdown. But today I decided to explore it, so I went through a gap in the fence and after walking for about 10 minutes, I got to this mysterious door in the middle of nowhere, so I did a little knock and let myself in and closed it behind me to be polite to the radiation. Anyways, I went down the stairs and saw, um, some interesting artifacts that I was not exactly a fan of. And I continued through the bunker and found a very inviting door that made me feel super safe, which led to more stairs that had my knees cracking like Rice Krispies. Anyways, I eventually got to this tunnel and some doors at the end of it that said, Danger, do not enter. But I went in because my middle name is Danger. Just kidding, it's Emil. And after I went through the door, it closed behind me and I tried everything but couldn't open it up because it was locked. So I decided to look around and see what my grave location was going to look like, thinking maybe it's a movie theater or a game room. And I turned the lights on to see that it was an actual nuclear missile silo where they held the nukes. And it went 100 feet down, and now this is where I live, I guess. And my phone is now on 1% uploading this TikTok. So if you see this, that's the last time you're going to... Today, my Mima told me that she bought an NFT, and I was like, Mima, you just asked me if Mark Zuckerberg was my girlfriend. How do you know what an NFT is? So anyways, I was using one of those head massagers when I got a knock at the door, and when I answered, no one was there except for a box with a towel in it and some noodles with a note that said, NFT, noodly fun towel. And it wasn't even fun, it was soaking wet in some mysterious liquid, and I was about to put it away in my closet when I got the idea that I could actually make it into an NFT and get some use out of it. So I made some room and I took a picture of it and made it look all pretty and I minted it on Bubble House and made it free for a limited time. And I emailed her back and told her to go claim one before they're all gone. And even her bingo club can get one and even you. And we can play bingo together on Bubble House with my Mima and her bingo group.